Hey guys, stay patient here, and today I have some news that's going to make all you Modern Warfare trophy hunters very happy indeed. It turns out there's a glitch in the game that you can use to make the Mile High Club trophy a lot easier on yourself. Of course, this is the most notoriously difficult trophy in the game, and a lot of people are struggling with it. But this glitch can be used to make not only the Mile High Club mission easier on Veteran, but all the other missions as well, because you do need to complete the entire game on the highest difficulty. Now, credit for this method goes to Bub Wright on the PlayStationTrophies.org forum. I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel in the description because he has put up a rough guide for it himself. So maybe you guys can do me a favor and give him some views and subscribers just to sort of thank him for letting me share this method. But what's going to happen is basically we're going to fool the game into thinking that we're on a lower difficulty. It's a very strange glitch because it almost mashes two difficulty levels together we're going to be mixing the veteran difficulty with the recruit setting. Now I'm going to show you how to do this and sort of explain what's happening as we go along. So we're going to start off here on the main menu and of course you do need to complete the game through on any difficulty to be able to unlock the Mile High Club epilogue mission. But once we've done that we can start it up on recruit to begin with and then once it's loaded we're going to save and quit and that's going to kind of create a save point on the recruit setting and we're going to somehow kind of overwrite some of those recruit settings onto the veteran difficulty. So once we're loaded in, we can just quit straight out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start it up on veteran, but quit the game as soon as we do. Now I'm going to just bring up the menu that we're going to be using here by holding down the PlayStation button. And you'll notice that when I back out of it and then go back in, it sort of starts me off on the same option that we were on previously. So if you put it on the close application option, that will just make it quicker when we need to quit out in a moment. So once you've done that, we can start the mission again on veteran. And remember, as soon as we press X on the veteran difficulty here, we're going to need to hold down the PlayStation button and we're going to already be on the option to uh, close the application. We can do that as quick as possible. And that's going to create this sort of confusion within the game. Now I mentioned that it's almost like two difficulty settings mashed together. That's because we still only have one minute to complete this mission. So it still sort of behaves as if it was veteran difficulty. And that does mean that we are going to be, uh, need to be relatively quick as usual. But the great thing about this is that we take the same damage as we would do on recruit. Now, many of you will know that uh, recruit setting on this game isn't as easy as the lowest difficulty on some games. I'm just going to show you here on the pause menu that we are on veteran in the top right there. Um, but yeah, recruit difficulty is still, you know, still a bit of a challenge, especially when we need to rush through in a minute. And the reason I've actually sped up this first run is because I did fail this time, but I wanted to show you guys that you don't need to sort of reinitiate the glitch. You can just sort of restart if you die or if you fail you don't get it within the time limit you can just carry on and the glitch will still be active and that's why I kind of let myself die here not to mention the fact that I hadn't done this mission for quite a while so uh, you know I was a bit rusty but this was my second attempt and you'll notice you know throughout the previous attempt that was sped up and this attempt you'll notice that I do take a lot of damage and that was deliberate you know I wanted to show you guys that um, you know, even if you're taking a lot of damage or in that situation there, I was looking back and there was enemies there that would normally turn around and shoot me, but they weren't because it's behaving as if it was on recruit setting. And you'll notice, I mean, this is so much easier. You can tell from the footage. That's why I've deliberately done a very sloppy run, kind of not using flashbangs at the right time, deliberately coming out of cover and letting the enemy see me and attack me. And you'll notice that there are multiple occasions when I would normally die quite easily, but we're pushing our way through. And this really does make this a walk in the park, guys. Obviously, you don't want to copy everything I've done during this run. Like I said, it's a very sloppy run deliberately. But if you watch any other videos, any other guides online and get an idea of the best way of making your way through the mission, just so that you can be sure to do it within the required one minute. But, you know, you don't have to worry about dying. You don't have to worry about staying in cover so much. And, you know, it really makes this trophy and the entire Platinum a walk in the park. Because like I mentioned at the beginning, 
Um, although I haven't fully tested it on all the other missions in the game, you can use this glitch on the other missions apparently. So if you, you know, jump into a mission on recruit setting and then quit out and then jump in again on veteran, but as soon as you choose veteran, quit the application and then load up the game again and carry on from where you left off, that should activate the glitch on whichever mission you're playing. And you'll notice here that the trophy does pop, Mile High Club, a notoriously difficult trophy that lots of people are struggling with. And hopefully using this method, you guys will, you know, really be able to make it a lot easier on yourself if it is your last trophy that you need on the game. I know a lot of people <laughs> are getting really annoyed with it and really struggling. So I want to thank Bub Wright for pointing this out to us on the forums and for letting me share it with you guys, my subscribers and anyone else who ends up watching this. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope this can help you out. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And I'll catch you very soon. All right. Cheers, guys.